This is a HeadGum Original. Loving ain't easy And it sure ain't for the weak But you gotta fight every battle You gotta travel so far Because everything you want Is on the other side of art You gotta fight every battle You gotta travel so far Because everything you want Is on the other side of art <gasps> Because everything you want <laughs> So stiff Is on the other side of art We love you! <laughs> Lighter. <laughs> Studio <laughs> catches on fire. <laughs> oh my god. The frame TV was so flammable. <laughs> How is that fair, Samsung? <laughs> uh, back in the lab slash studio. That's right. IRL. In We're the same here. room. That's right. Easier to edit without the Zoom mm -hmm. when you hang out in the same room. Yep. That was from Rex who has an nyu.edu email address. So you're either a student or recently removed. Yeah, or just can't let go. Can I talk about something? The other side of hard, yep. it's not <laughs> fun to hear or say. Mm. I understand the, 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 the spirit of the saying that you <laughs> yeah. mentioned. Like, I think it's good for like a coach in a speech. That's where it, it came from, It doesn't translate yeah. to a song <laughs> no, because... really at all. <laughs> Why is that? Like, just... The other side of hard is just like, it's it's grating to hear. <laughs> You're just I would want to hear that it. in a locker, like what you want, like working out the other side of hard. Yes, yeah. it's motivating, but translated to lyrics to hear them sung. Respect to all of the musicians who have tried. Yeah. You can't make it work. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I crazy? Wow. Casey, what are you, like, <laughs> we're in the studio. Wow. Can you back me up on this? Yeah. I I don't know how it could work. I think it's possible, mm -hmm. but you got to be, you got to have some kind of magic. Yeah. Is it because of the way it sounds like side of hard? Like it's the just other very, like, side of hard. It's just not fun to say. I don't think hard is the right hard. word to yeah. have in a song. Hard is a soft word. Yeah. Soft is a hard word. Huh? Because it's like hard, hard is a hard is, word. Yeah, hard is a soft word. No, it's, it's not like a soft H, word. H-A is like, ah, it's like yeah. not anything. You have the hard part. That's a hard <laughs> no, word. No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, <laughs> it's kind of a hard word. Yeah. But the, the RD, that's hard. Yeah. Hard. RD is good. Yeah. Hard. Trad is a hard word. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hard. Yeah. Like hard is, hard is soft. No, it's not a soft word. <laughs> I think it's a soft word. <laughs> it's not. Hard. Yeah. <laughs> You're saying it softly. <laughs> hard. Yeah. You're saying that's oh, a anyways, hard word? That's it's it's, a, it's it is a hard word. Hard, yeah. hard, hard. Way hard. in, way in below. Uh, anyway, I haven't done a theme song before. Writes Rex, uh, but everything you want is on the other side of hard. Was too good to pass. It's up. not too good. It's a little trite, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely milked it more than that actual coach ever did yeah totally it's a not good, his fault yeah no great coach so here's good my... thing to come up with on the fly <laughs> bad thing to make your mantra forever <laughs> so here's my attempt at fully realizing your mccartney-esque idea mccartney i don't think so not paul just like jesse and mccartney andrew mccartney <laughs> the actor uh, if you could shout out my soundcloud page local radicals that would be great too cool. we have an album coming out soon local radicals is a good name yeah 
Uh, okay, so thanks, Rex. Thanks to you guys for yep. submitting. Yep. We still need more theme songs, so now's the time, folks. And it doesn't have to be Other Side of Heart related. Ideally, it's not. It could be anything. Yeah. Like, whatever. Two dudes hanging out. It's fun to be That's there. Two, du- to them. two dudes hanging out. It's fun to be there. <laughs> What do you say? <laughs> yeah, or anything. Like, that's perfect. Yeah. Just do that. That's better than Other Side of Heart, I think. We have transitioned two from... Two dudes hanging out. Yeah, yeah. We're two guys in the same room. Woo! Are yeah. you have, do you have a problem with me? <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that we, we transitioned away from TV jingle-ish at intro songs to, like, full musical songs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I we can TV... start drifting back yeah, to 15, TV 30 music. seconds. Yeah. I think that's cool. Yeah. TV have you, musical. Have you been watching the new Game of Thrones show? I watched the first two episodes. I hear they just used the Game of Thrones theme song. Yeah, the first episode, I don't think they did. The second episode, they did. That seems illegal. Why? It's the Game of Thrones. It's the Game of Thrones. It's not though. Yes, it is. There, it's a new. Isn't it a prequel? Like, there's no of the same characters. The game is the same. Yeah, the game is the same, and it's the same houses, the same families. I so, just think that they're know. cheating by saying, "Oh, here's the same theme song." So, like, it almost tries to trick the audience into thinking this is just a kind new of, game. But of I mean, there, I mean, then you could say that about literally every aspect of the show. Like, they're they're sitting on the Iron Throne. Mm-hmm. They're in King's Landing. Is it called like Game of Thrones colon Dragon Soup? I think it's called House of the Dragon. <laughs> House of the Dragon. So yeah. Game of Thrones is not in it. Might, yeah, I don't think so. So they can't use the theme song. What are you, what are you fucking... <laughs> don't hold my hand. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're on the same page finally about that. Or not. Because I was like, I don't watch Game of Thrones, and I heard Avital watching, and I was like... Dun, 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 dun. I'm like, oh, is this Game of Thrones? She's like, no, it's like the new Game of Thrones style I, show. They're doing that... Yeah, they're, try, they're trying to like earn that, like, you know... Um, they want to hit. They want to hit the fan in the heart. It's like, oh, here's here's that show you love. Don't yeah. worry, it's the same. But it actually, you know, I feel like that that theme song was also triggering because season eight was so bad. So now it almost so, makes it. It did yeah, the opposite. We're trying to. They're erasing um, a mistake. It's like if Better Call Saul used the Breaking Bad theme song. Yeah, which I think rightfully, if they wanted to, they could. It just doesn't feel right. You don't even like the show. I don't need to like it to yes, weigh in <laughs> <laughs> as a critic. And I had some notes on episode one. Like I didn't know any of the characters. <laughs> Which is fine because they're new. But at the same time, I felt like I was being left out in the dust. Did you watch episode one? No. Did you? Did you like it? I didn't love episode one. I thought it was like, a, it was a weak impression of Game of Thrones where um, they did a little bit of that like, gratuitous violence just to be like, hey, this is that crazy show. Edgy. Yeah, but they didn't really set up enough. They didn't set up the characters enough to make me feel like anything for it. It just felt like kind of gross. But episode two, uh, it started to. Episode two was interesting. I heard episode three gets even better. There's also a Lord of the Rings show. I haven't watched that yet, but I want to. Jill's making me watch other shit. Interesting. It's like we're I like can we watch Lord of the Rings and she's like no we have to watch Pachinko. What's that? It's a tale <laughs> of South Korea and Japan in like the 1950s, 1980s and today or some version of that or maybe it's like the 1910s, 1950s, 1980s. Yeah. Um and it's really beautiful, way way more like meaningful and nuanced. Um, but I'm just trying to watch a dragon uh, go ham. blow smoke up a Targaryen ass. <laughs> Don't blow smoke up my ass. And if she doesn't watch it, you can't watch it? Or do you guys ever go into different rooms and watch different shows? She would do that. I'm too needy. I'm like, I want to just hang out together. So like, we'll watch whatever we can both agree on. Uh-huh. And then I come to L.A. and I... Binge. Can, yeah, I can... Sometimes, and sometimes I have to record too late. But last night, we got home early, and I was able to watch an episode. Um, and, yeah. What about you? Like, it sounds like you and Avital don't watch the same thing. Like, she'll watch Game of Thrones, and you'll, what are you doing? 
jacking yeah. off? Yeah, I'm usually jerking it or like I'm in, in the, the office or like cranking you... it. Yeah, yeah, I'm like or Where in the kitchen. Where do you fap while she's watching? I'm either in the office jerking it or like I'm in the kitchen having like a cheeky fap or like <laughs> yeah. if I'm in the bathroom. Into the garbage I, disposal. I get turned on or whatever. She's watching yeah. it and I'm like sort of jerking off right. in the bathroom. You like put a bedroom. fleshlight <laughs> yeah. into the like your sliding glass yeah, door yeah. and between the sliding glass door and the wall. the front door, the mail <laughs> slot. So and she's you'll pretend watching, you're watching yeah, Luke and you're sort of humping the fleshlight. Flashlight. That's enough. <laughs> Don't bring the dog into it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, golly. No, we usually deviate because I'm watching sports. Where then, do you watch sports? On your phone? On your computer? Uh, either like she's watching on her laptop, I'm watching on the TV, or I'm watching on an iPad, she's watching on the TV. I see. But you're hanging out in the same room. Sometimes, sometimes we separate. Like if I need to listen to something. Yeah, you don't put headphones on and just hang out on the couch? Don't, don't put headphones on, no. All right. Uh, all right, speaking of shows, this is a advice podcast after yeah. all. That's right. People are in desperate need of our advice. It's called Always. If I Were You. With Jake. And Amir. And Amir, yeah. Sometimes we record over Zoom remote. Sometimes we're in the same room. Sometimes we're wearing the same color shirt. Isn't that interesting? And red is kind of rare for us. I feel like we both only have one rare, red shirt. This is my only red T-shirt. Yeah, I think so too for me. Very cool. You know, this is the T-shirt that I... Actually, I have two, but the other one's too small. Anyway, this is the shirt that I wore in the last episode of Jake and Amir. Wow. There are pictures of you in that shirt, but it's green, right? Um, There might be. I know there's another thing where I have like a green shirt and they made it red. So it might be that. Right. In like Photoshop afterwards, yeah. Yeah. Or it was like orange and they made it green or something like that. Yeah, like the something soap like one. that. Oh, yeah. The Turn Soap into Sun is a green shirt and I think they made it orange. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good shirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great shirt. Uh, okay. This is uh, about a, a lady who fell in love on a vacation to LA. Okay. You're on some somewhat a vacation in LA right now. Indeed. Uh, so we'll call this lady... Who's a famous uh, Los Angelino. Oh, gosh. There's so many to name. Yeah, it's a city of stars. Yes, so exactly. Toss any celebrity out. They probably live here. Yeah. <laughs> just think of a like, celebrity. Like the queen. No, she's... I mean, she's dead and, and famous. famous. She's famous, yeah. She's a celebrity, basically. Okay, fine. Do you want to use the queen? Mm. Right. I feel a little wrong because it was her funeral the other day. Yeah. So why don't you just come up with any... Actually, Meghan Markle's from L.A. Perfect. She's in line to the throne. I don't think she is. Okay. Okay. Meghan Markle writes, she's from the Valley. Why don't you funny. read the question? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't make small talk <laughs> with me. Uh, oh, this is funny. I'm a 28-year-old female from Canada. <laughs> oh my gosh. She was just visiting LA. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Do you want to come up with a fucking famous Canadian? Alanis Morissette. Well, the Go Queen ahead. did kind of rule over Canada. Fine. Perfect. We'll use the Queen, even though it's a little bit in poor taste. Yeah. And it's important. Mm -hmm. Queen Elizabeth II. You hate it. How about we just call her Liz? Perfect. Liz writes I'm a 28 year old female from Canada. I actually met you guys at your live show in Calgary. Whoa. Blast from the past. I recently went to LA on a girls' trip for Labor Day weekend. We had nonstop things planned: hiking, surfing, shopping, Dodger game, etc. Nice. And honestly, I had no plans to party that hard. But lo and behold, we went out our first night there, and I met a guy. Okay. I wonder where they went out. Button mash That's near awesome. Dodger Stadium. Yeah. That's really cool. So it's sort of like drinks and Asian fare pregame. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. sort of playing games. Maybe one thing yeah. led to and another. And is he playing games? <laughs> I don't That's think good. so. Air hockey. You're both sort of <laughs> dueling sombrero puck thing situation. Uh -huh. And then like you do a slap shot and it fucking like jams your Jumps pinky. up, <laughs> chips his tooth. <laughs> <laughs> you guys hook up on the way to the dentist. <laughs> what? We immediately hit it off and had the exact same sense of humor and just laughed and chatted all night. We ended up hanging out the next two evenings as well, and wow. we slept together both of those nights. Good shit. Wow. When I left on Monday morning, we were texting, but the messages got further and further apart. Eventually, I accepted defeat, gave his last text a thumbs up, and figured this was a fun weekend fling, but that's all it will be. All right. He ended up texting me yesterday after chatting a while. I mentioned that I'm planning to go to San Diego for Canadian Thanksgiving and that if he can swing it, should meet me there. He said that he would like to see me and will look into it. But when I responded to keep me updated, he didn't reply. 
Now I just don't know what the next play is. Is there a perfectly crafted text I can send that asks whether he wants to see each other again slash figure it out? If a, or should I let this go forever? I know it's naive to think a long distance two night stand could ever lead to anything more, but I've never felt such a connection to someone before and it's hard to let go of that excitement. I realize this would be a grand generalization, but are most late 20s guys in LA still looking to live the single life? And was I just some no strings attached fun? Any advice or input you could have would be greatly appreciated. P.S. Fate on Shuffle has been on every single one of my summer playlists. That shit slaps. Mini dab. Good. Mini dab. Tiny Mini dab. dab. Good, sh- Mini good dab. shit. <laughs> Fate on Shuffle. <laughs> Pop it on. Put it on that Spotify playlist. Um, okay. So she was visiting. Mm-hmm. Slept with a guy a twice. two-night stand. So it was more than just a one-night stand. Right. Two-night stand. That means more, doesn't it? I think, well, here's the thing. Like, was I just a no-strings-attached fling for the weekend? Yes, you were. But he was, too. I think that was kind of probably the vibe and maybe why Mm. it was light and fun and easy or whatever but now you're asking how do i parlay that into a longer term thing yeah i feel like trying to get the answer that you want is not going to get you the result that you want you want like self-sabotage to be like we should meet up in san diego that might scare him off i think that's fine to be like we should meet up in san diego but to get confirmation that like so do you want to meet up in San Diego? Yes, I want to. (laughs) Like that will make you feel, it'll settle your anxiety right now about does he want to see me? But I don't think that following that road is actually going to result in him wanting to see you. Does that make sense? So like she's kind of anxious to be in this gray area of like, do we have a plan or not? Yeah, definitely. Then if she like tries to concretize the plan, it might. Can you just tell me yes or no if we have a plan? Then it'll be like, well, let's not. Because of that attitude. Yeah. Um, So I think while it's, hard on the other side of hard uh you you have a better (laughs) chance by just being like sweet like you're gonna let me know and like just if you feel like chatting talk about anything else because you had a lot in common yeah you guys vibed Mm -hmm. so keep on doing that without worrying about like but will i see you again because you can't until you go to san diego anyway so you just have to keep the vibe alive then go to san diego then make it happen yeah it's almost like a candle that can extinguish completely or Yes. Go off. Exactly. Go this off. Is, this is, we're piling the kindling on. And the kindling is the flirting. It's the fun chatting, mm-hmm. uh, not the firming up of plans. The firming up of plans is is the structure. It's, it's it'll a wet smother, log. It'll smother the fire. It's a wet log. It's a wet log. It's not kindling. It's a wet log. So let's put keep on putting the kindling on there. It needs to be dry leaves. Yeah. Right. Like a text that's not about the plan. Exactly. That's a dry leaf. That's a twig. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> a twig. Every time a, you yeah. look at a text, you know, try to try to decide if it's dry or wet. Is it small? Will it catch? Yeah. Or is it a smothering text? What do you think a twig could be an acronym for? Text without... Oh, a text without a goal. That's twag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you fumbled the ball at the Text one without eagle, <laughs> eagle. That's not a word. That's T W E I. Text yeah. without eagle, eagle. Obviously not. Okay. Text, Text without, without implied I- goals. That's good. <laughs> you have to throw twigs. Implicit on goal. Oh, that's good. Okay. Text without implicit goals. So it's not like, hey, are we going to fucking do this or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit yeah, or exactly. get off the pot. You have to act like sort of like, hey, I'm here. It's cool, whatever. Mm-hmm. Let's meet up or not. Right. Act like you don't feel. Yeah. But at the same time, you you don't know what this other guy's thinking. It could have yeah. been just a fun. He could have heard, oh, she's in Canada. And that's exciting because then I won't have any right. um local obligations to hang yeah. out more. But the further you go along this road of being like, oh, wow, she's actually really fun to talk to. You know, maybe the text moved to a FaceTime, mm-hmm. moves to like him him going from like, oh, this is fun because she's in Canada. There's no pressure, no strings to, oh, wow, this is fun, but I wish you weren't in Canada. I wish you were here. Yeah. You know, like it's just, a, it's a slow burn to continue the uh, twig metaphor. Uh, this was sent in September uh, oh, just it's a couple September. days ago. Yeah. yeah. So Canadian Thanksgiving, I think is in October. So maybe she can give us an update oh, then. Perfect. And if you're listening to this, um, Lynn, oh, 
Let's not say her name. <laughs> you already did. Not that it matters. <laughs> if you're <laughs> listening to this, Liz. To this. <laughs> uh, where did you go out to meet this guy? Would love yeah. to know. West side, east side. Was it indeed button mash? Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely want to know. Uh, okay. Let's take a break. Thank some sponsors. Come back and answer more questions after these. Thank you to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this episode of our show. A big part of my day. Yeah, I mean, we start our day with Athletic Greens. I actually start my midday with Athletic Greens. That's good. Yeah. And it's good because it's like you need all these vitamins and nutrients, but you don't want to take it in a way that's not appetizing, Mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yeah. It feels good to hold a glass of green liquid and put that into your body. Green means healthy. That's right. And Athletic Greens are both green and athletic. And healthy. Yes. They have 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens to help start your day right or your afternoon. Uh, So whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy free, or gluten free, Athletic Greens is right for you. And we should say you can butt chug it, which I think is how you do it in the morning. No, no, it, okay. that's, that's, it doesn't say to do that. You All should right. just drink it like it's a, cool. like it's a morning smoothie. Or... I was under the impression that you butt chugged it Why in the morning. Why is that, I wonder? Yeah. Yeah, I don't. Sure. I drink it normally. Okay. Um, through your ass or through? Through my mouth. <laughs> um, through my mouth. And it costs you less than $3 a day to drink it <laughs> through your mouth. You're investing in your health. Nice. And it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. <laughs> Why are your pants soaked in athletic cream? <laughs> <laughs> I spilled on my lap on the way to work today. <laughs> Unrelated to how I usually drink it, which is by pouring. <laughs> you, you mix the powder into the liquid, the water, and then you shake it up and you drink it. Yeah. Not and I got some of it on my pants. All right. Uh, right now, it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. And to make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D Ooh. and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Nice. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash if I were you. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash if I were you to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Ooh, it smells like Athletic Greens. That was that was <laughs> not me. That was not me. Interesting. Thank you, Athletic Greens. Unbelievable. <laughs> and we're back. Jake, do you have any? <laughs> you know what I do this week? Um, it's called thrifting. For thrifting. Your thrifting. So like going to second hand. Second hand. Yeah. Not okay. buying new clothes anymore. Is that a you're all in or like you like a mix of old and new? Um, I haven't bought anything in a I guess I like new plain white t shirts. Uh huh. Um but yeah, and new socks, new underwear, of course. Of course. Um but pants and shoes? Pants and shirts? Uh not shoes. No. Mate, come on. Yeah. Um and not pants either. No, got no um, shirts. Well, yeah, well, not really sure. <laughs> no, yeah. Pants, I bought a jacket once. Pants, T-shirts, uh, regular shirts, jackets. Um, I think they're, I, I find that they're better quality. Uh, better ingredients. I, <laughs> <laughs> everything about thrifting them feels better. Okay, here's my two problems with thrifting. Okay. One, the clothes kind of smell funny. Right, when you buy them, but you wash them. And then they smell just like normal clothes? Yeah, yeah. Wash them on high heat with your with your laundry, and you're, you're going to be fine. Two, they fit weird. Like, they're not normal fitting. It's like, this is how people wore shirts in the early 70s, and, like, yeah. the sleeves are long, or the thing is shorter, it's not boxy, or it is boxy. Like, I can never figure out the style of it. Totally. I mean, you have to try on a lot of mildly smelly clothes. Yeah. But I think that when you find something that fits... In the thrift store, it's really satisfying. You also can take it to a tailor. I have a tailor in the city that I like. Tailor then, your t-shirts? Not t-shirts, but a but a regular shirt. T-shirt, um, I feel like most thrift store t-shirts are better than regular shirts because they've like been washed and dried. They're not going to shrink in the wash. They're not the colors aren't going to run. But um, aren't like old shirts like half polyester? Like they're just like made out of weirder materials. I can never quite get comfortable in an old. Shirt wow, from like I find the seventies or eighties. Old T shirts to be significantly more comfortable. Interesting. And yeah. so do you go to a specific place or is it just like any thrift store in the city? Um I mean any anyone that looks 
anyone that looks cool. Some, I mean, in my neighborhood, I'll just be walking past one. I'll pop in. Mm-hmm. Um, there are a few near me that I like. And what's been your best find so far? Um, there's a place called Awoke Vintage, which isn't like it's not like going to Goodwill or something. It's it's still kind. Yeah, there's of expensive. a difference between like Salvation Army and thrift stores, right? Like yeah. one is like two dollars a T-shirt, and then the other one's like, oh, this is actually one hundred and eighty dollars. Right. There's the curated shops shirt. where they've like they've gone to the Goodwills, they've gone to the Salvation I Armies, see. and they've gotten like the clothes that are stylish now, and mm-hmm. you can buy the thrifted version of it. You pay a mar- you pay a premium yeah. for it, but. Uh, it's slightly better than going to the store. Yeah. Um, but it's bad when you go to a place that's supposed to be curated and they clearly just like dove through a bin <laughs> at right. like Salvation Army and are charging three times as much. Yeah. Um, but anyway, there are some that are really well curated. Uh, I think my best find though was an old pair of Levi's 505s. Oh, wow, jeans. Like, yeah. Aged to perfection. Uh, the kind of jeans that you have to wear for 10 years before they look like that. And but someone else, else did them. it for me. Yeah. And you don't mind that, the the fact that somebody probably died in those pants. They, I don't think they died in the pants. That's in play. Died. In, no, not really. Yeah, kind it's of. It's not really in play. It's kind of in play. <laughs> How? Because somebody passes away. Wearing their jeans? Or yes. you feel like maybe they're wearing a hospital gown or more comfortable clothes because they die in bed? It would be, yeah, or a sudden death situation. A sudden death. If it's a sudden death, then it might be like bloody and they might be stained. Yeah, or maybe like, thinking, so, like some guy was just walking down the street and had an aneurysm and crumpled to the ground and died. Yeah, and or, that, or a, yes, exactly. An and the, and his loved ones were like, let's donate these genes. No, it's like, let's strip the body because yeah. now it's time for us to praise the body. Well, actually, if that happens, <laughs> if he dies in those pants, they probably cut them off. They yeah. probably cut them off. Yeah. And so then I don't how think... do they fit if it's like sliced down the side like that? They don't. <laughs> Yeah, I that's why I never like can get fully comfortable in that. No one died in these pants; they're just jeans. <laughs> okay. And I did buy a hospital gown, but that's different because <laughs> it opens in the front, <laughs> which I thought was interesting. And someone was operated on in it, but they survived <laughs> barely. Yeah. Uh, all right. Have you bought winter clothes, jackets? Um, not this season. I bought a fall jacket last year, Wow! but I'm going all in on it. And I think it's nice to not support fast fashion. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to do that less. Cause I, I was getting too many clothes just like Amazon. delivered to my front door. It's like you order two sizes, you send one back. Mm-hmm. And at the very least, I, I want to start shopping in person. And beyond that, I want to start, uh, secondhand shopping better for the environment, better uh, for my body. Have you gotten rid of clothes? Yeah. I get rid of clothes all the time. I make a big pile and I uh, let Micah go through it. And then I take what he doesn't want and I give it to my dad. And if my dad doesn't want it, then it goes to Goodwill. And then, but like you still have shirts from like 15 years ago as well. Yeah. I hang on to my, like this shirt that I'm wearing is from, I think I bought this when I was 20. Wow. I'll so buy it off of you. How much? Mm, four bucks. Um, okay. Sure. Let's switch. Right now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> you first. <laughs> Giant tattoos. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. Uh, all right. Maybe I'll, because I haven't done it since like my early 20s, the thrift style. Shopping. Yeah. I feel like there was a time Maybe where he's like, oh, we're going to go look for like cool t-shirts at Salvation Army. Yeah. And it's now it's more like, there's a nice, uh, the Bearded Beagle. It's just up the street. We'll go off to work. You want to hang out with me? I'm you down don't to hang out during work, but I really don't want to do after work shit with you anymore. Okay. That's... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I have a fucking migraine. Damn you. <laughs> Why yeah. did you fucking talk about that? <laughs> shit. Can you read what? this? I have a fucking... What's it called? Migraine. You... Not... <laughs> yeah, but like... Uh, the When the colors are like starting to swirl. Why don't we Jesus take a Christ. Why don't we take a break? Because you said something that was pretty hurtful to me, and you also appear to be unwell. <laughs> we can power through. I'd rather not. I just, um, why don't we take five? No, because we didn't, we haven't even we haven't answered a question this act. Okay. God damn it! I didn't do anything. <laughs> I don't feel like I should An be blamed. An ocular migraine, I think it's called, or yeah. some shit. Yeah. Um, why don't you let me read <laughs> the next question or something? I'll forward it to you. You I don't really want me will to touch your shit. It. <laughs> My computer is covered in. Oh no! Here I got it. This one. Okay. okay. Can I ask out a Twitch streamer? This is from another lady. Oh, okay. We'll call her Zelda. Nice. <laughs> Zelda is the 
princess, the lady that needs feel, to be. You're over explaining the name. Link is the character. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, a couple of details. Should I ask out a Twitch streamer that I've been following for about a year? Got it. A couple of details. He's on the East Coast. I'm in California. Great. Long distance. Uh, so it wouldn't be much of an ask out as an ask to do a literal online date. He's definitely single, and I'm pretty sure he is interested in women, but I've never met him in person. He only knows that I exist as a username that pops up in the chat. He doesn't know what I look like or who I am other than uh, what I reveal in the chat. I only Twitch Prime to his channel. No donation or gifted subscriptions. So I'm not an important financial supporter to his community, but he doesn't have that many viewers, maybe around 80 to 150 on an average day. So he does know my name and messages in the chat. And as an aside, I know he does read my messages because he'll address my username slash message or read the message out loud. I feel like your best chance for success, there's an in-between step here from being in the chat, uh -huh. non-prime user, he responds to your messages to, will you go on an online date with me? Yeah. Something needs to happen in between there. <laughs> She's going from A to C. Yeah. And there's no B mm -hmm. situation. Yeah. So he has to see her in a way. Yeah. An email? No. Hmm. No, I wouldn't say that. Uh, a DM. I'm basically, I'm trying to be nice, but the answer is no. <laughs> Jake's the Twitch streamer. <laughs> the answer is a little bit no, right? Well, maybe not. Like, maybe he's not. a gamer maybe and not. she loves watching games. It could be a yeah. perfect fit. But for you to be like, you don't even support the Twitch channel financially. <laughs> To just be like, let's go on an online date. Like, let's let's enter into a long distance relationship. How's that? Yeah. I like to watch you play video games. How would you like to be my boyfriend from <laughs> across the continent? So she should donate to his channel first? She should follow him on Instagram or TikTok. That's good. Something a where DM. you can see each other and see if the physical vibe is there and matches the uh, the emotional vibe that actually only is felt currently one way, mm. you to him. Mm. Um so, yeah, there's an in-between step. Why don't you move it to another app? A DM search of an app with An app maybe where there's a bit more, I don't know anything about Twitch, but I feel like an app where there's a little more like one-to-one -one engagement rather than like you chatting and him like shouting out a bunch of people. Yeah, I've been dabbling with Twitching again slash now TikTok does video game live streams. So there you, you can do it integrated into there. Oh, we should do the TikTok video game live can we do it together we can do well i got a key that lets me stream from my computer slash tv to tiktok directly wow so i wonder if there's a way for but you not like to play. me and you in a separate room god we it. have to be in front of my computer all right so we'd have to do it when i'm in town yeah. but i want to do the thing where we play goldeneye against each other that's good goldeneye is not available yet but it will be soon and yeah. then we can do it that's good yeah as soon as you we could probably youtube and or twitch that great just not tiktok right now yeah okay we should do that um but yeah find his instagram and or twitter and or tiktok or whatever yeah have a one-on-one -on -one chatting situation right with you can try to move it to one-on-one -on -one without asking him out yet try to move it to a one-on-one -on -one situation another platform get off twitch as a gamer mm -hmm. and like i say this just strictly as a video gamer yeah i can't have anything clouding my shit when i'm fucking in front of the tube like that <laughs> like, what games do you play tetris <laughs> You know, you do the mini games. golf, right? Yeah, I do a virtual reality mini golf. <laughs> and I can't have like a, a girl in my life clouding that. <laughs> I have to be 100% yeah. all in or cool. I'm all out. You don't have to worry about a girl entering <laughs> your life and drawing your attention away from Tetris. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about that. Because like I'm yeah. trying to set up like... What's the, the highest S level you got to in Tetris? Four. <laughs> Because then they start coming down pretty, pretty fast. fast. Yeah. yeah. And like, I'm like constantly thinking about girls. <laughs> <laughs> they cloud my vision whether I want them to or not. The siren song is too loud for me. And then I can't set up that alleyway where like one long piece gets a Tetris and since. Yeah. Whatever. In level four, you can't do that? Well, yeah, level three. Level three is my max and I've never been to level four. <laughs> Basically, I've gotten 29 lines. <laughs> Man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
The easy part is keeping the the women away. At bay. Yeah. <laughs> At B-A-E. Uh, okay. Uh, let's take another break. Thanks, some sponsors. Come back and answer more questions after okay. these. And we're back. Yeah. Uh, we got one last question about a college roommate trouble. Okay. It's a twin-related question. Twins. That's right. So we'll call him Dave or Jeff. Let's go Jeff. I saw him more recently. I love the podcast and was wondering if you can help me out. I just got accepted into Indiana University, and I'm in the process of picking a dorm and a roommate. I found the perfect place to live, but my twin brother wants to be my roommate. Mm. I really wanted to branch out and meet new people, but I also don't want to let my bro down. Should I try looking for a new roommate or live with my twin brother for a year? Any advice would be greatly appreciated. This reminds me of the story that Jeff and Dave went to the same school freshman year. Oh. They both went to James Madison. Oh, I didn't know that. And they lived in different dorms. Uh Uh-huh. And they would pass each other on campus (laughs) and pretend they didn't know each other. (laughs) They look more different now, but at the time they were identical twins. Yeah. Uh, Two guys, (laughs) they would pass each other and not even say hello. (laughs) Just so like if one person saw that, they'd be like, what? Yeah. And sometimes people would say to Jeff, hey, Dave, and he would say, hey, yeah. just basically kind of assume his identity for a brief spell. So they would pretend that the other didn't exist to the point where it's like, I don't not only want to live with you, but I don't even want to like acknowledge yeah. that you exist. You don't school. exist to me. Yeah. And like, and also not even acknowledging the other person's existence to strangers because you would be like, hi, Dave. And rather than being like, no, Dave is my twin. I'm yeah. J-, they would just be like, yo. And then Jeff was like, I can't handle this anymore. I'm moving to NYU. Yeah, I don't think he ever liked James Madison as much as Dave did. Interesting. Yeah. It must be a nature versus nurture thing. Uh-huh. I, th- I get the... I th- I mean, yeah, I think you should just tell your brother that you want to... You don't have to make it about him. You don't have to be like, I am i don't want to live with you. You just make it about you. Say, I would love to live with you, but I really want to uh, have like an independent time at school. Yeah. Did you have this option where it's like, do you want to live with someone or do you want to live with a stranger? I think in my school, you maybe could have like requested a roommate and they've granted yeah. them. And I also know that like freshman year, some people like traded dorms once we made friends. Um, but yeah, I didn't know anybody. So I just rolled the dice. Yeah. I mean, it seems like a totally normal ask and it might be slightly offensive at first, especially if he wants to live with you. It's like yeah. you could still make friends and live with your twin. But it's a little weird to have identical twins in the dorm, the same dorm. I mean, I get both sides because I get why he wants – he was like, oh, it'll be more comfortable than living with a total stranger. Yeah, it'll be better. But you're like, well, I actually want the college experience. Which is to potentially have a bad roommate. Yeah. But you don't have to do it for – you don't have to do it for that long. If it's it's awful, you can move. So I say roll the dice, see if you can make a brand new friend have the like the real college experience maybe you'll be like wow my brother was right and i want to move in with him but he got a great roommate he yeah. doesn't want to live with you anymore he actually wants to divorce you as your brother <laughs> he wants to legally untwin <laughs> could you do that make me different untwin. enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> you request a new birthday <laughs> I st- <laughs> i'll still be your cousin but i just don't want to be your brother or, or your twin yeah were your dorms bigger than this room like our dorms were half the size of this room and then sometimes it was three strangers 18 year old dudes just living in a small box like this i think my dorm was probably the exact size of this room holy maybe a tiny little bit wider so a little because we had the we had the bunk beds over there yeah can on the bottom Mm -hmm. me on the top yeah my computer over there where that door is yeah uh ken's computer here yeah and then along this right here we had um Two reclining chairs. Wow! That we picked up at Salvation Army. Holy smokes! We had the and you brought them into the yeah. the room. Mm-hmm. Brought them into the room. Mini fridge there. Could you do that? Re- add furniture to your dorm. Um. Yeah. It was. It was legal. Video was games. Fine. TV. Did you get a big screen? Yeah. We had the the mini. Oh wait. The mi- yeah. We had the mini fridge there with the TV on top of the mini fridge. Wow. Uh, big TV. It was. I don't think it was big. Yeah. No. Big TVs big cost a lot of money back then. Yeah. But Ken worked at Best Buy, so we got it for a discount. Holy shit. Yeah. Ken was a 51-year-old manager, right? <laughs> <laughs> you met Ken the day before you were supposed yeah. to start college. <laughs> Ken was a non-matriculated 51-year-old man uh, manager with a family of four who <laughs> actually shared the, the dorm with us. <laughs> Our TV was so small, but like 
you know, because TVs were expensive. So, like, we had, like, a little small, like, tube television. Yeah. But we had one of the few TVs in the hallway or in the dorm hall. And I remember I started college September of 2001. So when 9-11 happened, everybody was just in my room watching that TV. But I was still sleeping. So (laughs) I woke up and a bunch of people were in my room Watching a small TV. That's crazy. And that's how I, like, I found out about 9-11. <laughs> wow. What a, what a fucking moment. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, too. Like, you went to school in 2001, and it was so different even three years later when I went to school for the first time. In 2004? Yeah. Yeah. Like, by then, it's like Wi-Fi. everyone had, we had, like, flat screen TVs in our Yeah, dorm didn't have flat screen. And we also had, like, big computers, like, you know, a computer with a monitor that you had to bring in. Yeah. No laptops quite yet. I got my first laptop at school, but it didn't have Wi-Fi. You have to like plug into the Ethernet. Yeah. And then like did 9-11 like rock your college experience or was that like Not college, yeah. Like, it was, you know, it was four years <laughs> after. Yeah. Um, Any tragedy, national or otherwise, that sort of defined your first week at college, I'm wondering. Uh, it doesn't yeah, have to the, be on um, the scale of. The Yankees blew the ALCS against the Red Sox. I think we got swept. Doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Johnny Damon hits a towering grand slam in game four. No chance of a comeback. I think that doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Like, because that, that was uh, George really... Bush won that year, too. Oh, that's that nice. That was, I remember on election night going to bed, everyone on my floor, as the results came in, chanted <laughs> four more years. Oh, they all liked Bush. <laughs> Loved him. And I remember just leaning against my pillow and being like, I have to transfer. I can't be here. I'm too big of a John Kerry fan to be <laughs> yeah. at this school. Yeah, everybody fucking loved Bush at that school. <laughs> Four more years. <laughs> yep. And then you ended up going to John Kerry's school. That's correct. Hunter. Hunter. Did you go to Hunter? <laughs> no. <laughs> but you didn't transfer to Hunter, did you? No, I transferred to John Kerry's actual school, Southern Connecticut State University. <laughs> <laughs> He's the first presidential candidate to go to a Southern Connecticut State SCSU. school. SCSU. Yeah. Uh, did we answer this guy's question? You can. It's fine to tell your brother that you don't want to live with him? Yeah, I don't think you're going to hurt his feelings, especially if you don't make it like, I don't want to live with you. Just make it about, you know, enriching your own personal experience. Cool. Uh, all right. Thanks for writing in questions. If you got questions yep. or theme songs, yep. we need more. Send them all down to show at gmail.com. That's right. It's the perfect time. We've cleaned out the inbox. We're reading them as they came as they come in now. You, you heard us read one from September. Yeah. That's this month. Exactly. That's right now. Oh, wow. I... Uh, I emailed the lady to see where in LA did you meet Whoa. this guy, and she responded. What did she say? A follow up pup within the same episode. That's incredible. This doesn't usually happen. This is so cool. <laughs> could almost we could almost start doing live callers. Wow. Uh, she said, "Hey, can you not email me here? Uh, I just meant to sort of ask the chat show, and now it feels like you're taking it personally." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, please do not read my question on the show. I wonder if we <laughs> <Wow>. can re... <laughs> we have to retake that whole segment. <laughs> okay, here we go. So my friend went to San Francisco a few months ago and met a group of guys. While we were there at the Dodger game, she posted a story on Instagram, and one of the San Francisco guys said he was also in L.A. and to come to the Victorian that night. Where's the Victorian? Do you know that, Casey? No, I've never been there. The Victorian... Los Angeles. Oh, it's a Santa Monica thing. That's Got it. I don't know. Sense. There you go. Wow. So they went from Dodger Stadium to Santa Monica. Very long drive. Yeah. We went briefly, but ended up going to someone's place to play drinking games after last call. Wow. The place we ended up at was my guy's apartment. There it and is. as a brief update to the below, we've still been texting relatively frequently. And there are some loose plans to meet up, but it's very Mm noncommittal. I'm at a weird place where I'm super excited about him and still intrigued by just how much we hit it off, but also logically know that there's a good chance we mutually fade away. Again, any advice would be interested. Love you guys. Amazing. So does that change anything? No, I think the advice is still in line. It sounds like, and it sounds like she might've been doing it on her own anyway. They're still like chatting, flirting, and the plans are remaining non-committal, which I think is the correct vibe. Yeah. It seems like Instagram is now like more of a dating app than d- actual dating apps now. Yeah, for sure. You say like, hey, I'm here. People respond, DMs. It's an instant feeder. Yeah. And then like the grid, the actual main feed of Instagram is dead. Right. 
like who's posting just like a picture of like me on my birthday. That's I mean, me. you do that every yeah, day, yeah. every year. Yeah. I do it every day. Did you say I do it every day? <laughs> Sorry, did you say I do it every day? I said you said I did it every day. No, I don't. I do it on my birthday. My birthday every day. Or do I have one birthday a year? Just give me the fucking turdy. <laughs> Clearly, that's what you're angling for, or something. <laughs> that's a turdy. That's a turdy. That's an absolute turdy. You fucking fumbled your joke, the misspeak. There you go. And it's a golden mic for me for catching you on that bullshit. <laughs> what about before that? If I hadn't brought that up at all, um, it's tough to say. It's tough to say. You had a couple good cracks this episode. You might have got the golden mic. You, you you sort of talked about me fucking a door for a while. Oh, I would have got the golden mic for that. Yeah. <laughs> what? Do you like that? That yeah, was good. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, thanks for, yeah, Queen Elizabeth for writing in. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, more <laughs> insight, more videos of us uh, on our Patreon, patreon.com slash JA. Ja. And of course, if you listen to this and want to watch it, it's on our YouTube channel, the If I Were You Show YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for writing in. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And we'll be back next week. Goodbye, everybody. Loving ain't easy. And it sure ain't for the weak But you gotta fight every battle You gotta travel so far Because everything you want Is on the other side of art. You gotta fight every battle. You gotta travel so far because everything you Side of art Because everything you want Is on the other side of art That was a HeadGum Original